Greetings. My name is Floyd Christofferson, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a quick overview of practical ways that Hammerspace leverages the power of metadata to provide customers with unprecedented control of their digital assets. But to set the stage, let me quickly remind you of what Hammerspace is. Hammerspace is a software solution designed to help customers manage unstructured data across incompatible storage silos and locations, as well as enabling seamless access to the cloud. We do this by unifying all storage types and locations with a high-performance parallel global file system, creating a global data environment that bridges them all. This provides a cross-platform global namespace, which gives users the experience of local file access from anywhere to data that may be anywhere on any storage. The power of shared global metadata that Hammerspace assimilates from existing storage is a key driver of this capability. But of equal or greater importance is the power of custom metadata, which enables automation of data services based upon the intelligence from the data itself. This powerful combination enables customers to automate virtually every aspect of data and storage resource management based upon business rules at a file granular level. But let's dig a little deeper into the metadata to see how this capability can benefit organizations in all industries. So what is metadata anyway? The dictionary definition is pretty broad. Simply stated, it is data that provides information about other data. But there are many types of metadata. So let's focus on the kinds of metadata that are most important to unstructured data and storage management. The first one is file system metadata. In other words, it is the information about the files within your storage system. But also, it is the directory structure for how files and folders are organized. Without these metadata, your files are just unintelligible ones and zeros. File system metadata translates these raw bits into a form that humans can understand. But there's a problem with this. That is, users and applications access their files via a file system, which is embedded in each vendor's storage platform. If additional storage is required of a different type, users' access to data is now fragmented, and they must look in multiple places to get global access to all their data. This problem explodes when other storage types or locations are required, such as when tiering data from expensive storage to an object store or off-site or to the cloud. Each storage type and location becomes an isolated silo with its own pathway to the data, causing problems for users to find and use their files, but also for IT administrators, who must now deal with the complexity and risk of managing data that is fragmented across them all. To deal with this, storage administrators often deploy point solutions, which become a kind of band-aid to manually bridge the silos. Whether this is for tiering data to other storage, or purchasing gateways to manage data copies to the cloud, each of these actions become an administrative burden that adds cost and creates disruption to user access and productivity. Hammerspace solves this problem by elevating the file system out of the storage layer, decoupling it from the infrastructure. This metadata assimilation can happen with data in place with no need to move the data off of existing storage. In this way, within minutes, users and applications, even in very large environments, are able to get direct, unified access to the data across all storage types and locations. From a user's perspective, all the data on all storage and locations is visible on their desktop as before, except that now they have unified global access to all of the files across all storage silos. But this ability also empowers IT administrators with global management of both data and storage to automate data services across all storage silos and locations from a single pane of glass. And this is how we can start to see the power of global metadata. That is, with Hammerspace, IT administrators can now use these metadata to trigger objective-based policies that can automate critical data services globally across all vendor storage types and locations. And most importantly, these actions can be performed in the background, even on live data that is in use, with no interruption to users or to their applications. This capability enables customers to define explicit, plain language business rules or service level objectives to control everything about how the data can be accessed, placed, and protected, as well as how storage resources are utilized and much more. For example, a simple tiering objective could be set that says, when the flash arrays are 70% full, push the least active files to object storage. 
Or maybe add a global rule that says data that has not been accessed in 14 days from any storage should move to cloud one. Additional conditions may be added to these objectives, which for example could set global policies for all data on all storage, or there could be other focused objectives that may be created that only apply to a specific subset of the data. Most importantly, these service level objectives may be performed on live data without interruption to users or applications on any storage from any vendor. Hammerspace makes it easy to apply and manage these objectives with multiple control options. For example, out of the box, there are numerous commonly used objectives available by default, which may be applied to shares or storage platforms via a simple checkbox interface in the Hammerspace management GUI. In addition, Hammerspace includes a simple objective builder, so admins can customize them with one or more rules, such as apply to live files or only apply to files of a specific size or other variables. There is even an intuitive slider interface to visually create the bounds of a new tiering objective, leveraging both performance requirements as well as file activity by time. For more sophisticated objectives, we include a scripting language called Hammerscript that can be implemented using a built-in editor within the management GUI or scripted via the admin CLI. In these ways, objectives can get as granular as needed to accommodate very specific business rules on how data should behave even across multiple silos and locations, leveraging any combination of the multiple metadata types. Another common example of an IT-driven business rule is a data protection objective. In this case, the objective is to ensure that a global snapshot is captured every hour from all storage types at all sites. But rather than using expensive on-prem storage for the snapshots, this objective is set so that they are pushed immediately to a cloud repository for offsite protection. With Hammerspace, snapshots from any storage type can be saved anywhere and are always online and available if needed. Administrators have multiple ways to ensure that all storage resources and data are in alignment with the service level objectives. Data actions may be taking place on live data, so as users and applications add, move, or delete files, Hammerspace monitors all the storage and data globally and automatically takes action to align the changes in the file system to meet all relevant objectives that have been applied to them. Tools such as this chord diagram provide admins with real-time feedback to track data mobility across file volumes to ensure everything is working as expected or to pinpoint issues if there are problems with the infrastructure. So far, we've been primarily talking about standard file system metadata to create the policy objectives. But the power of these objectives goes to the next level when we add custom metadata, which takes advantage of the rich contextual information from the files themselves. With Hammerspace, Policies, for example, can be set based upon which projects selected files should be associated with, or which department or cost center they belong to or if there is sensitive information that could have compliance implications. Or in research or other production environments, there is often important information related to the instruments or workflow stages that should be captured. And of course, there is no limit to the many other types of information that can enrich file management rules. For example, custom metadata tags can be applied that can identify which files belong to project number one, even if those files move to different storage types over time. Or maybe it is important to track the files by cost center. These metadata tags could be used to create an objective that says all Project 1 files must have an immediate DR copy in the cloud or other location as soon as they are created. Or perhaps we need to ensure that all files from sequencer number 5 are tagged with the instrument ID and then rapidly moved off of the limited instrument storage cache to NAS number 2. Each of these actions can be automated based upon the business rules as defined in the objective. And just as users have continuous access to the files in place, regardless of which storage the files move to, these custom metadata tags are also persistent as the files move from place to place. With such rich contextual information, there is no limit to what you can do to better utilize and manage your data throughout its life cycle. But wait, isn't there a problem with this? The problem is getting people to reliably tag their data. The best indexing on earth will not help you if someone forgets to apply a metadata tag. If data from project one is not properly identified because somebody forgot to do so, then policies become ineffective. This has always been a problem for storage centric solutions because of the potential for data to become lost or orphaned without proper identification. The key to eliminating human error is the ability to leverage automated metadata inheritance. Let's break this down. 
In Hammerspace, when one or more custom metadata labels is applied to a folder, any file or subfolder in that folder hierarchy will automatically inherit the custom metadata tag. From then on, anything created or moved to that folder will automatically inherit the metadata, whether the file is created by a user or a machine or whatever. No one has to remember to tag anything. This capability means that all files from any source can inherit multiple key metadata variables automatically, without users needing to change how they work or remember to do anything extra. In this way, key information about what the files are, where they came from, which project they belong to, or which processing run they resulted from are all maintained in these metadata fragments, even when the files are distributed across multiple storage types or different locations. Let's look at how policy objectives using custom metadata labels can automate a production workflow. In this example, files are being created by an electron microscope and will later be used in downstream processing or analysis. The first objective is to quickly offload the new data from the storage cache on scope A and ensure that all the files are associated with project number one. Directly from their desktop, a team lead or authorized user can simply right click on the watch folder in Windows, for example, and can assign custom metadata labels and tags to that folder. From then on, any files generated by scope A that land in that folder will automatically inherit the project ID and scope information. Because Hammerspace is tracking all data actions globally, these new files will automatically be subject to any relevant policy objectives. For example, perhaps there is a data protection objective that mandates that a worm DR copy of the raw data should be immediately replicated to the cloud. Or perhaps another workflow objective that requires all new files to be staged to another site where post-processing can occur. As we have seen, Hammerspace makes it easy to apply a wide range of policy-based objectives to satisfy multiple use cases in any environment. These can be simple data placement tasks, such as tiering or data migration, or mission-critical tasks for data protection or a host of other actions. Each objective can be set globally or for specific subsets of data based on any metadata variable and across all storage types from any vendor. These objectives enable simple, plain language rules at a file granular level and can be run completely in the background without interruption to users or applications. Also, they can reduce or eliminate the need for redundant vendor-specific point solutions for siloed data services. From a single pane of glass, admins can now automate multiple classes of data services globally across all files, regardless of which storage they are on today or move to in the future. At the end of the day, Hammerspace empowers data owners to get complete control of their files with simple metadata-based automation capabilities. The power of Hammerspace's objective-based policy engine is the missing link that can solve problems in multi-vendor storage and data environments, going well beyond any point solution in the market. Thank you for your attention.